All right, they're eating. Go search cell block quickly, 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 quickly. I don't want the prisoners there when I'm searching the cell block because it annoys them. They'll probably come back before we're finished, but we'll do our best to find as much as we can. Moreland able to be recruited as a CI? No. It's too much of a hard case for that. Fortunately, we don't seem to be finding a whole lot in people's cells. More Lin Cell, especially I'm worried about toilet booze or something with this alcoholism, but we seem to be okay. Oh, we got a cell phone. I wonder who, uh, blanky blank name had a cell phone. And a cigarette lighter. Oh, I hope he didn't, I was glad he didn't start a fire with that. I've never had a fire in one of my prisons. I wouldn't, I would freak out. I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Searching the pile of clothes. Well, while they're searching, we're gonna check on other things. We should very soon. Yeah, right here. We should have our uh, first classes in the workshop. The foreman's coming to teach people how to use these things, and then they'll get to work making the license plates, which will get us money. In more ways than one. Set off the metal detectors. Alright, so they're still technically in eating time, but they're about to go to work. So they're filtering in for classes and such. Alan Jenkins is going out for shop class. Surprising no one. And it looks like, other than those things in that one guy's cell, and the cell phone and the lighter, uh, cell block A is pretty much clear. We'll search cell block B at dinner time, I think. Yeah, reform program. How many people are doing that? Let's see. We've got stuff in the kitchen, lots of spiritual guidance. I mostly weren't... Oh, okay, here we go. Get some people doing workshop safety. If they pass the class, then they will start working in the workshop. And I'm going to go ahead and say... Fill it with the maximum number of prisoners. 20 people can work in there, then 20 people will work in there. Because this is a huge fundraising opportunity for the prison. Do we still have a guard deployed in there? I thought we had a guard deployed in there at all times. I'm going to leave the informants alone for a little while. They're just not progressing quickly, but that's all right. Who's seeking spiritual? None of our named guys are in the chapel right now. They're all busy with other things. Okay, how is our... These are little progress bars telling you how close they are to being finished, so... I really want this to start producing things, because that is one of the primary ways that you can actually earn money in Prison Architect. And thus, it's very important. smell something? I think I meant to say dog. Poison? Now that's just dangerous. Any of you guys recruitable? Nope. Moreland is uncrackable. What did he do anyway? Driving under the influence and now he's murdered a man. CIs is uh, checking out the spiritual guidance. I don't think they've finished teaching that. No, I don't want them teaching two sessions of it, because I want them to have some time to actually work, uh, other than just having 
Do I have anyone assigned to the kitchen to work? No. Really? I'll put three in there. I want to give the prisoners the opportunity to work. they weren't working already. I thought I had jobs assigned there. Oh well. Uh, you'll see that they filled all these jobs with regular security guys. That's why it turned orange. But nobody can work in the workshop right now because nobody is qualified to work in the workshop, which is fine. We'll get some tomorrow. How long are you in there for, Robert? Five more hours. He spent like almost the whole day in the cooler because of what he did. As he deserves. <coughs> Having some people in the cleaning kitchen or the cleaning cupboard ought to help with the janit it, Basically, we get three extra janitors for a little while doing stuff. You might need to hire more chefs. How many chefs do we have on staff? Two cooks? For 50 people? I'll make a third cook, and now that we've got five prisoners assigned to work in the kitchen, we should be alright. Help with the never ending supply of dirty dishes. <laughs> Although, if we're gonna have prisoners working in the kitchen, we really should dismantle this and replace it with a regular door. the metal detector will be enough to kind of keep prisoners from smuggling things into the kitchen. I hope. It just seems inefficient to have the guards always opening the door, or the staff members always opening the door for people. Oh, we don't quite have enough food. That's a problem. That's why we hire another cook. So stuff like this doesn't happen. Zip through meal time. <coughs> Hopefully breakfast will be less of an eventual incident. Okay, so like three people decide to use the showers in the other cell block. The rest of them all clump up around the first shower block, getting ready to get into another fight, I'm sure. Now to sleep with you all. And Morland's finally getting himself out of solitary. He found poison on a dude. Poison on who? Eric! You're supposed to be on the You're supposed to be behaving! You're an informant, dude! I've also heard that it's best to call your informants in during periods where they would otherwise not be missed. Like, if we take them while everyone is sleeping, they will be noticed being gone. But if you take them while everyone is in free time or something, or working, then nobody will notice that they have been doing something else instead of, you know, what they were supposed to be doing. Zip through sleeping. I'd like to see them produce at least one license plate before we get out of this episode, but that may not happen. It's all right. We'll find a time. We'll find a place for them to do that. But we'll give them one more day. <coughs> Poor understaffed kitchen trying to... I don't know that they're understaffed, actually. There's just a lot of plates. We may have to hire more people. Or build a second canteen. 50 prisoners is a lot for one canteen to be handling. I just want to see if they can get all the dishes done in time. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. around out here. 
Yeah, I thought he smelled a tunnel over here. Smell along that whole direction, then you can go rest. I don't want no tunnels. If they manage to get a actually, if they get into to get a tunnel out here, they'll just show up in the face of two guys with shotguns. <laughs> that will not go well for them. Let's see if there's anything in the sheet metal, I guess. Nope, it's perfectly normal sheet metal. You know, what we probably just need is another sink in there. So that all three cooks can be washing dishes. Two prisoners in. Uh, I don't want maximum security yet because we don't have a place for them. Because that one guy died. Yeah, we'll have to replace the dead guy and the guy that got released. All right, now they're using the showers intelligently. Why is the danger level high? They are complaining. Oh, they need to shower and they're hungry. Breakfast time is always one of the more dangerous times of the day, because everyone is hungry because they've been asleep all night, and so they're cranky. I think that was when Robert murdered that dude. It was breakfast yesterday, so... Hopefully there's enough food for everyone this time around. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sean King and Robert Moreland got into a fight. Seriously, you just got out. Chris Horton got involved that time, too. Three unconscious guys. Good grief. Alright, at this point, it might be worthwhile to build a second canteen and attach it to this uh, cell block. And assign cell block A to eat here and cell block B to eat here so they just stop trying to kill each other. Good grief. Uh, but that means having another kitchen, too. Man, I really don't want to have to do this. Just thinking about... Uh, we'll give it one more day. No, you know, there's fights breaking out every day in the canteen. We need a new canteen. We're going to get our short-term investment back in two hours, though, so that's nice. It'll offset the cost of this a little bit. Alright, so we're going to build another canteen. I don't want to put it there, though. What if we put it here and fenced off? Yeah, I like this. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna attach the other kitchen here. And we're gonna fence off from here to here. We're gonna fence off here and here so they can't get down there. And then we're going to put in a wall right in here, and we're going to put a kitchen here. That'll be great. Uh, we'll need a staff door in this fence so that deliveries can get through. And we'll need to go ahead and demolish this fence here that I just built. But that was before we needed a canteen issue. And we'll just we'll figure out how to assign cell blocks to eat in different canteens. And that way, there's just not fights breaking out every day over food.
There's lots of people praying. No free time. Get Canteen 2 up and running as quickly as possible. I don't want a repeat of this morning at lunch. I mean, realistically, we're not going to get it done by lunchtime, but we'll see. Oh, hey, our short-term completion, or short-term investment paid off. So let's see about another grant we can take. We'll do crackdown on drugs. I'm going to try and find ten illegal narcotics during our time here. Boom. And that will get us money. Uh, I think we already did that, because we just got it. It just completed. <laughs> Never mind. Tool cleanup. Remove stolen tools and stolen weapons. And I'm just going to start by searching that cell block. And searching this cell block. We're just going to search it all. Uh oh, he smelled a tunnel. Well, that's good. We'll search their cell blocks. We'll find it if there's a tunnel. This might annoy some of the prisoners, but... I think it would be worth it to get that extra $20,000 of tool cleanup. And it's about to be lunchtime anyway, so they'll get out of the cafeteria. Or they'll get out of the uh, cell block. Oh, we need to put in a staff door to the kitchen and a regular door. I'm going to put in two doors so they don't have to go into the same door. I feel like that might alleviate some tensions in the cafeteria. All these poor people trapped inside the, the door with no, the building with no doors. Cell phone. No tunnels yet, so that's good. I'm worried about this cell. Because if somebody's going to tunnel out that way, it's going to be this guy. Or this guy. So far, nothing. Alright, let's put in our wall for the kitchen. I have a bigger kitchen this time around. We will put in a regular door in that wall. We're going to assign some prisoners to work down there. Get utilities in here. Get some electrical cables. Get a large pipe down through here. Actually, have to connect that pipe. And go ahead and designate this as a secondary canteen and kitchen. If I can find them. I don't know why I have such trouble finding these things in this one right here. But I do. Oh, we smelled a tunnel again. I keep smelling tunnels, but we can't actually locate any tunnels, which really worries me. You, you find tunnels by searching rooms. So I don't know if these guys are just smelling false alarms or if there are actually tunnels. And if prisoners are going to start getting out through these tunnels. That really worries me. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Alright, let's get serving tables out here. We'll start with two. There we go. Start with this many tables. And benches everywhere. I think I'm going to go ahead and double this cafeteria's usage when we get our maximum security cell block. It'll be the place where the regular cell block B prisoners eat, but also the max sack prisoners, just at a different time. Uh, and so, to that end, I may end up putting in... I'm going to put one more serving table in for now. Down. Here. And in the kitchen, we're going to need a row of cookers, so let's see. One, two, three. Let's go with four cookers. And one, two... Uh, 
that's the wrong way around. Three sinks and fridges galore. This could be expensive again. Actually, it's not that expensive. But it will save us so much money in the long run by not having prisoner death costs on our table. Don't have to worry about prisoners murdering each other. Just so easy. So I'll be fed. So canteen two. All right, let's figure out policy. To figure out how to do this, I don't remember. I've never actually tried to decide who sits in which canteens, who eats where. Is that something I can't do right now? No, I need to unlock logistics. So, that's important. We'll have the warden work on that while our other canteen is getting built. Oh, one more thing that I need to put into the new canteen. The all-important metal detectors. What was that banging noise that I just heard? Is that them installing things in here? I thought that was maybe finding a tunnel. But no luck there. Do we have anyone working here? Yes, we have eight prisoners who can now work in the workshop. To see them working away, making license plates and pieces of wood and metal. So gratifying. So these they turn these sheet metal stacks into license plates that are blank, and then they come over here and they stamp them in the stamp presses. Uh, he cuts these into sawn logs to uh, planks and stuff, which we can use once we unlock more advanced carpentry and stuff uh, for the workshop. We can make all sorts of wood products. The forestry will help fuel that, too. Most of our prisoners seem to be all right. What did you do this time? Attacked a member of staff, attacked a member of staff, and found drugs on him. I'm not sure if the attacking was when he fought this morning, or if that's what he's going to military for right now. But since he's going for eight hours, I would assume we found drugs and then he attacked everyone. Good grief, you're a maniac, Moreland! Oh hey, our long-term investment is actually about to pay off too. So that's excellent. Both of our investments will uh, yield benefits in the next few minutes. Well, one of them's already, but we'll have both of our investments come up. Another, like, $36,000 for your just essentially waiting. All right, let's see if our CIs have anything to say. Uh, no, I think CIs are best left to uh, essentially grow, to develop their usefulness as time goes on. So I'm going to let them. They're slowly getting better coverage. Scissors. Chris Horton had scissors. That fiend. I'm really worried about this whole... Uh... We keep smelling tunnels. But we can't find them. That really worries me, but there's nowhere they could be except in the toilets, and we just searched both cell blocks and didn't find them. So either our prisoners are way more cunning than I was expecting, or these dogs are just false alarm smelling tunnels all the time. But they weren't doing that until this episode, which makes me even more worried. Jimmy, what did you do? I don't know what he did. Oh, we found some drugs on Denning. Yeah, once you get up, and, you know... Once you get out past, like, the 25 prisoner mark, you start to have a lot more of disciplinary issues just because there's so many people. Hey, hey, we have actually made license plates. 
We've made like 12 license plates. We're getting closer and closer to our goal. Man, we keep finding scissors. Where are they getting scissors? Where are they getting all of these things? Is there a place where the wall is too close? I don't think so. They can't access any of the places where they should be able to get those things. At this rate, we're going to have to expand solitary into like a six cell configuration. How many license plates? 12 plus 4 plus 10. Ah! We're so close to finishing our uh, 30 license plates for a grant. And we got our... Oh, that was it. We've produced 30 license plates. So our prison workshop is up to snuff. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I am so happy. And our long-term investment pays off in seven seconds. And then we just gotta remove stolen tools. Three, two, one, money! Woohoo! Excellent. This has been a rewarding episode. Lots of successful project completion. How's the uh, installation of electrics coming down here, guys? Why do things not hooked up to the power? I'm so confused. I just don't understand. Oh, I get it. They're not hooked up up here. That's the problem. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then we'll get this electrical cable. Hook that up. We'll go ahead and hire three new cooks down there. prisoners in there. Have we got our micromanagement? Not quite yet, but very soon we'll be able to designate where people eat. But it looks like, perhaps because Robert's been in solitary all day, there weren't any fights during dinner time. Hopefully the workmen eventually will come through and pick up all of these stacks of license plates and bring them to the exports room to turn them into money. Bring in some more sheet metal to fuel tomorrow's license plate production. Again, during the nighttime shower, they all go here. And I think it's because it's the closest shower to this canteen, which is where they're all eating. So hopefully, now that I've got the whole thing. Let's find how to assign people to different areas here. Ah, logistics, there we go. Food distribution. Prisoners from here eat there only. Prisoners from there eat there. Prisoners from solitary eat there. There we go. That kitchen supplies that. That kitchen supplies that. That ought to take care of that. Laundry is being distributed from there. Okay. That ought to at least, hopefully, prevent more violent incidents in the morning, as well as providing better food coverage for the prison. And guys, I think that is a good place to cut it off. We have succeeded in our goal, 
and I think next episode we will have a little bit more um, attempts to clean up all of the tools. We'll also hopefully get our first profits from the workshop, and maybe we'll think about building a maximum security wing to put Moreland and his ilk in so we stop having quite so many incidents in the man uh, with the poor medium securities. And uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.